starting my vlog here. I'm at work. I haven't done one at all. It is now what, the 14th of August. So this is my first vlog entry, but I am on Lord of Shadows, kind of behind, but you know, what are you gonna do? So I finished the first of the Dark Artifices. So technically I only have one more. I've already read Rage and Storm. I think that's what it's called. It's the third one. And Clap When You Land. Really good. Um, almost caught up with my Gideon the Ninth second week. So that's good. Um, I've been listening and reading uh, it to finish it out. So I'm caught up with that. I've started the Codex, but not too much. I'm hoping to get to Chain of Gold. Really am. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to. But so far, it's not. It's a pretty good book. I'm only on page 104 of Lord of Shadows. I really am behind. I should have be almost done with this by now. I don't know why I've been so slow at reading. But, you know, we all go through those little slumps. My mom wants to start reading a book. I can't remember what it's called. I'll have to, when I get home, I'll have to show you. But... She wants to start reading that one with my siblings and I, and I was hoping she'd want to start it next month because I already have so much going on this month, but no. We're going to start it this month, but at least it's only about 50 pages a day, so it shouldn't be too bad, hopefully. Um, but yeah, that's it for me. I'm going to read my book and groom dogs and stuff so we'll talk to you later Okay, so I haven't really been vlogging that much. Um, but just got off work. Stopped at the store to get a few things that I forgot to order when I made the order the other day. I'm still on Lord of Shadows. I think I'm in chapter 14. But I got it all up. If I still stay. With 150 pages per day with all the other books I'll have two days to spare but we'll see if I can get to it we'll see but since just getting home gonna change cook dinner I'll probably read while I cook dinner So, but I should have an unboxing tomorrow, which will be fun. You can see Luma Crate is coming, or is supposed to. I still have a few other videos I need to upload as well. Um, so I'll have to get those edited either tonight or sometime this week, Wednesday, my day off. Um, I have an early morning tomorrow. Early morning tomorrow. Gotta be there at 6 a.m. So it's a little bit earlier than I normally do, but I'm nice and decided to help out with freight. What are you gonna do? But after that, gotta get the schedule in two different places and then hopefully I'll still have a little bit of time to read before my first client gets in. I'm really excited. So far I'm really enjoying it. It's pretty good. Trying to figure out where it's, where it's going, where, you know, 
what's going to happen. But so far, I don't really have any theories. Which is weird, usually I do. But I'm still enjoying the book. It's still really good. And then next week, I think on the 25th is when I'll start Red Scrolls of Magic. I still don't know. Fake Rate hasn't announced um, the reading schedule for that readathon that they announced. Um, they announced the Aragon one, which I'm not doing, but my sister is. But they haven't done the Red Scrolls of Ma Magic. So me and my sister just, excuse me, moved it a few days. So it'll take us a week to do it. I think it's about... 50 something pages a day so that one the lot book of the lost white lost white oh my goodness my mind lost book of the white comes out will be ready to read um but yeah i'm gonna head in because the car's really hot and the ac's off now and start cooking dinner bye so it is now the 20th. We have 11 days till the end of the month. Not done with Lord of Shadows. Got about 260 pages left. And then I still have this chunker. That's what, six days if I read 150 pages. And then my bonus book is about four days. I need the codex. And I have the codex. Oh, and gosh. Red Scrolls of Magic. But I started the Red Scrolls of Magic on the 25th and only a certain amount of... Because we're doing our own pages because we're Fake Rate hasn't said anything about that one. They're just focusing on Aragon. So I don't know if they just forgot or just decided not to do it. Yeah. So me and my sister are doing our own. We've separated into a week's worth for the first. And then I still have Gideon the ninth, which... I'm almost done with the third week, and then I only have one more week, and I'm done. I have no worries that I'll finish that one. It's the other ones. So we'll see how things go. I have high hopes that I'll finish it, but you know, we'll see. I'm pretty sure I'll finish all the ones on my TBR, just I don't know if I'll get to the bonus. And that's okay. And that's okay, because it was a bonus book, it doesn't count, mm -hmm. but I want, I want to get to it. But, after I'm going to get dog food today, and checking the mail, and going to stop at Barnes & Noble to get my kid a book, and a workbook for school, um, I came home to my Darker Shades of Magic, the Luma Crate. So we're going to open that up before I get to reading Lord of Shadows and cooking dinner. Unless I can convince my brother to cook dinner, which... Yeah, because I'm not. I mean, it's a very simple, easy one. Just put everything in a pot and stir it mm. and it's let it hard. sit and then cook some garlic bread. It's literally That's too much. Spoiler. So my sister has already opened this, so I do know what's inside. But that's okay. I didn't really pay attention and look too close to the details. Again, loving this. Keep on saying that because I keep on watching Brittany um, from what? Bi Biblophile? Brittany the Biblophile. Yeah. I'll tie her down below. Watch her and she always like, we love that for us or we love that for me. And I've been saying that like all the time now. I said it at work a couple, like yesterday a few times and you're all looking at me like it was crazy. But. So thanks, Brittany, for giving me a new little phrase to say. This blanket is so soft. My daughter's obsessed with blankets and literally thought my sister was going to give hers to her. She threw your Luna one down the She real threw quick. my Luna one down the ground and waited with a smile on her face. And my sister she was did rejected. not give it to her. But. She had chocolate fingers. <laughs> This was before then. She's probably she had still had chocolate fingers. It's hard to get it all in. Yes. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's so soft. Four Londons on it. 
so soft. So, this is nice. And winter's coming. Okay, John. <laughs> Winter is coming. So, blankets are going to be nice. Especially you can in my get room. get cozy. My room gets so cold. While you read the book. And I'm trying to find a really good put, chair to put in my room. You can put an ASMR video on. That, that'll give you the rain you need. Oh, yeah, there you because go. Because we're no longer in Washington. Nope, I don't have rain. We don't have the Seattle rain. So we have... There are many shadows in the night. Shades of Magic Enamel Pin by Fable in Black. It's big. It's big. It's beautiful. I love it. And then this is like something to clean your screens with. Your glasses. My glasses. Now I've never read the book so I have no idea who these are but It's gorgeous. And I love it. And I always need stuff for my glasses instead of using shirts or random anything. Random things. Napkins, toilet paper. It's gonna scratch them. Toilet paper does too, and it can leave like little white napkins. I don't wear glasses, but yeah. And then we have characters and their stands. Um, I don't know any of them, like I said, because I haven't read the book. And I think Owen's Kel. Owen's Kel. That's all my sister knows. And one of them, I'm pretty sure, is the author as well. We decided to make one for her. And then this one, I'm pretty sure, is V. She's so cute. So I think those are really cool. And then they got the stands. And then the stands look like... That. So those are really nice. And I also heard that they're making additions of these second two books to look just like this one. So I'm excited to get first dibs on those as well. They never go back in the box. Mine did. Right away. Plus jackets. Oh. Oh. So pretty. I'll show you guys now. So nice. I need to hang up somewhere. Stop moving it. Oh, sorry. So sorry. I always say I'm going to hang something here, but I'll figure out where to hang this, but that's nice. And then here is the dust jackets. My sister was looking at them, they're like, wow, the UK versions are so tiny. And they really are. Oh, this is nice. They're flippable. Darker shades of magic. Ooh, this one's really cool too. What's this one? Gathering of Shadows. So nice. They're gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And then ooh, Conjuring of Light. It was really nice. And I do like how they're flippable, so you can have whichever one you want on the front. Mm -hmm. So now I need to get myself a 
set of the UK versions to put these on. I mean, I guess I don't need to. I can always frame them and put them up on my wall. But where? Well, I mean, I have a lot of space, but kind yeah. of. My room's tiny. I do need to get more bookshelves once I start getting my money back into my situation. Eventually, hopefully, this COVID's ruined. COVID's ruined everyone's life. And working. Oh, this book sleeve is life. Kind of reminds me of my Slytherin one I have. I call it Slytherin. It's not really Slytherin. It's Chamber of Secrets, but you two are circling each other like stars. You come asking after one another when only a few strides and a handful of stars divide you. And then, oh. So lovely. And then we can get to the book. Are you ready for this? Cause I'm, I didn't look into detail with it, but I did see it. And it's gorgeous. Oh. There's the spine. And the back. Those gorgeous silver sprayed edges. There's also, ooh, oh, that's nice too. Then you have a nice little, wherever it is, ribbon. So this is really nice. And it's signed. And it's signed. Let me find it. gorgeous i'm really excited um i got this because i have a thing with limited editions i just feel like i need them in my life i don't know what it is i just like the limited edition you know what i'm saying you get what i'm saying so i got this i've never read it before i never read any of her books so this will be my first when i get to it i'm really excited um, and I just saw at Barnes & Noble that she also has some what, middle grade ones. I can't remember what they're called. But didn't know she had middle grade books too. So that's cool. But I'm really excited. Love the box. Can't wait till I can get the matching set when they have that available. Um, but yeah. I don't think I had a least favorite item at all in this box. I think it was a strong box and everything was a good item. Bloomingbridge really good at their special editions. They really are. I'm, I'm kind of sad they're not doing one for Chain of Iron. For real. But, anyway. So there's that box for you guys. I'm going to try to get this vlog entry uploaded by Sunday. So then I can try to do a little bit better towards the end of the month. And then do my wrap up. Where we will hopefully have finished... All six books, and the two read-alongs, and the bonus book. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But, I don't think I have anything new. Oh, except for this. I did get this, because it's book seven, and it came out. Oh, and that new book that came What book did you get that you got early? Faithless Hawk. Faithless Hawk. She got it early. It was already on the shelf. It was already on the shelf at Barnes & Noble. Which is, you know what's funny? I think that's the same Barnes & Noble that I got one of these ones early, too. Mm -hmm. It's on the shelf. It's the same Barnes & Noble. So she got that one early. So that's cool. But I'm going to be rolling my dice here later today. Maybe I'll even, maybe I'll just do it now. And then you guys can watch that. So that my little brother can choose my TBR. He might need a little bit more time to decide what the TBR oh, is. It's a big number. I hope it's a very tiny number. That's up to nine. This is the 12 dice. That's the one I roll. 
hopefully he'll try to set me up for somewhat success if it's a big number because I hate I don't know, not if hitting everybody it. thought I was mean. I think I was mean to myself this this month, giving myself all those behemoths. So let's see. I, I was gonna say, but they're quick reads, but you're taking your sweet time. I have a life. Yeah? I cook dinner. Ooh. I shop for groceries. Oh my gosh. I work. Uh, online. I work, and then I have to go pick it up, and I work, and I take care of that little cutie out there, and I have to sleep. We all know how I love my sleep. I'm like Snorlax. It's my life. You are Snorlax. Okay? And Colby always wants to watch Dragon Ball Z or whatever. Yeah, it's and last night I stayed up way later than I should have and watched three episodes of Nancy Drew. That's nice. Kind of honest, it took us like over an hour and a half to finish one episode because we kept on pausing it. Anyway, let's roll. Ready? Yeah, it smells oh, dirty. It is dirty. Six. That it's not nine. Yeah, yeah. That makes me a little bit happier. A six. Perfect. Perfect. Still, he can still be really mean with six books. So. And I guess I'll let him choose a punishment. Maybe I'll have him be, have a punishment for the next month. We'll see. If you don't finish yours. If I don't finish it. What do you need? What do you need a punishment for? If I don't finish the six books. Oh, yeah. I just thought you meant like if you don't finish your books this month, oh, he could pick a punishment. No, yeah. for the month he does. Oh, okay. Anyway, hopefully he'll choose like Mortal Instruments, Bloom. He's not gonna choose a. He's a monkey. Tell me. You know. Yeah. Good King luck. of Scars. We can do that one. That's a good. One. Anyway. I'm gonna go read and cook dinner. Fingers crossed that I finished my book today. But it's already 6.20. We're probably gonna watch Nancy Drew. And we're probably gonna watch at least one episode of Nancy Drew. So let's hope I finish it tomorrow at work. But I think tomorrow might be a busy day. I have some dogs. But my two newbies that I'm training. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. I don't know, hopefully I finish. I'll keep you guys posted and updated, but until next time, bye. Okay, it is now the 22nd. And I feel like I fail at life. I don't know why. I think it's because we were watching Nancy Drew, and we can't end the episode with, oh. Did you kill her? Like, you gotta watch the next episode, you know what I'm saying? Like, did he, did he not? And then you have to watch the next one, because that happens. And then it's like, nope. It's after midnight, I work in the morning, I go to bed. So, I have, I think, a little less... Uh, a little, a little more than 100 pages. A little more than 100 pages left. But it's getting down to that point where it's like when you sit down and you're going to read, you're going to read it all type of a thing. So probably not tonight though, because I work tomorrow, but I'm hoping to get through some of it. I should probably not watch Nancy Drew. But, so I'm hoping to finish this no later than tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know why it's taking me so long. I feel like it's Six of Crows all over again. I mean, Crooked Kingdom, but it won't be. It can't be. Because I still have to finish the Codex. And this baby, I need to start. I think I'm going to get the audio, audio book for it and listen to it and read it. My days on Monday and Tuesday at work aren't too crazy. But we do have a visit on Tuesday. It's probably not professional to be sitting there reading Queen of Air and Darkness. Um, you can say you're reading to the dogs. You know, oh yeah, I'm dogs. reading to the dogs. It keeps everyone calm. They need to find out what happens to Jules and Emma and Mark. 
and everyone else in between. So I'm hoping to get this finished by Thursday. Yeah, yep, that's what I'm hoping for. And then I still have read Scrolls of Magic, but you know, it's put down in days. I feel like some days are more pages than others, but. If there are, there's just a few more, just to end on the chapter. So, but this seems like it'll be okay. That's what I'm going to tell myself. Anyway, um, getting the ninth, I'm right on board. You know, I have the audio for it, I listen to it at work. So, still, I feel the same as I did the other day. It's still good. It's just, we'll see what happens. So I'm still up to date on that one. I still have a week left on this one. And so I should be able to finish this definitely before Saturday, but probably like Thursday or Friday. I don't know. Anyway, and then we'll see if I can make it to my bonus book. I really want to, because it'd be amazing to get it done, because then I only have, what, two books and lost book of the white three that'll be three the bane chronicles bane chronicles ghosts from the shadow market uh -huh. tales from the shadow hunter academy oh still four anyway but well on my way to finish it by the end of the year and be caught up with my sister so that when chain of iron comes out we can just read together mm -hmm. we can take the day off and just read if it's a Tuesday or a Wednesday. Wow. Brooklyn needs to be done in the school first. Anyway, that's not the only reason why I'm here to update you guys on my little blog. Blog. I call it a blog. I don't know. I also got my half Camp Half Blood pin from Lit Joy. Which means their boxes should be heading out soon. Super excited about that. And then I also got the I can never say the word candle acromantula yep acromantula the tarantula venom I'm trying to figure out what it smells like it reminds me of something I said an old man my sister maybe is an old man you know but I don't know a lot of old men <laughs> but I mean it doesn't smell bad it says black pepper clove and Pacho. Pachula. Pachula. I don't even know what that is. But it smells pretty good. So. I don't know what Pachula is. No? Oh. Am I supposed to? I mean. I don't want to make you feel bad. Oh, what is it? We'll discuss later. They already know that I don't know what it is. So it's not going to matter. You're a loser. I love you too. Anyway, I also got my owl crate. Look at this in this little vlog. I'm gonna call it my August vlog. At least it'll be here. Baby steps. Triple There's gonna be triple unboxing because I'm pretty sure this is my third one. Oh gosh. Almost dropped it all over the place. My soda. We're gonna Dr. Pepper shortage. Shortage? I mean. What's the word? Shortage. Yeah. Anyway. It's okay. There's a little sneak peek. Owl crate. The theme. The theme is written in the stars. In the back of here is the spoiler card, but when I look at that, of course my sister did was like, I'm gonna open it now. So she did. Listen, sometimes I wanna be surprised. But I wasn't paying attention quite much. This is, this quite is much? What century were you I'm born? really tired today. I don't know. It was a long day at work. So it's like a little scarf. Like a scarf bandana. I don't even know what it says. Something about shoes. Does it say it on here? Dreamer bandana. Fern and ink is who made it. It has some you butterflies. Can, like, untie it and you know, 
Sometimes you gotta be smarter than the product. Clearly that's not me today. Clearly. The dream chooses the dreamer. So that's nice. It's pretty. It's really pretty. I like the feeling of it too. Probably wouldn't wear it as a scarf. I'd probably just hang it on my wall. You don't wear scarves. Not really. Only sounders. Seattle. And one's like super, super cold out, but that's not gonna help. It's super, super cold out, so. Mm -hmm. and we got this little fun package. Ooh, it's a pan. Can never go wrong with pens. It has a little star on it. Written in the stars, you get it because you write with it. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Told you I'm tired. This is nice. I like pins. Then we have a little purple box. We are made of star stuff. Careful because the cork comes out easily. Okay. 25 metallic push pins. It's an Alcrate exclusive. It's not intended for children. So a little pins to hang my scarf up or just leave full so this is cute i wouldn't put it anywhere it can fall down that's true you know well, the earthquakes are shaking and then it's like everywhere all right and we have our pin band of weirdos so it's nice Little pretty little flowers. Then we got our own little clipboard, which is nice because sometimes I need to walk around work with a little clipboard on the bus, you know. You shine brighter than any constellation in the sky, and that's so true about me. <laughs> this is really cute. I really like this. This is this is a cute item. Now I just need paper. It's not gonna sit very well. Okay. And a little book sleeve. This is nice. Little sword on it, keys. We are all stardust and stories. This is really nice. My daughter has decided that sometimes these become snack pouches and she wants you to put food in them. Yeah. But and then she also does notice if I put my phone and my book in here to take it to my room, that she can put a phone or anything in it and carry it as well. So, little things. <laughs> it's bedtime. Oh, it's bedtime. I gotta put it on my pouch. Where's my snackies? Preferably not in the same one. Okay. And then on the bottom, the note from the author and it looks like we got star daughter is our book the little notebook so our cover I'll show you our cover before I show you this because that makes sense it looks really pretty and some dark purple sprayed edges we love that It is really pretty. Then, so, so pretty. Is it signed? Yes, ma'am. Is it usually signed? Mm hmm. I just can't find it because I'm weird. Oh, there it is. There it is. This is really nice. I like it. And then just the naked book. All these books. Therefore, if you don't buy books during the month, at least you know you're going to get at least one or five, depending on how many book boxes you have. In their case, like eight. I don't have eight. Anyway, so I like that. That's nice. And then next month's theme is a glorious haunting. And it'll include a cozy throw blanket, which my daughter will try to take. And she succeed. And succeed. She's very, she likes blankets. She's very cute. 
she likes blankets, so she's throwing them over her head. But she doesn't want to, she doesn't leave masks on. But she has a compromise immune system, so she doesn't really go out anyway, but it's like you cover your face with a blanket, why can't you wear a mask? She doesn't want to. Well, she doesn't want to. So the regular cover is more of a, has more gold tints to it. But, yeah. Super nice. So let me get to the spoiler card if I can find it. My pen. Your pen. I'll get it later. Um, Fern and Ink, um... Did the bandana, Strange the Dreamer, the star-shaped bottles from Team Alcrate. Um, Team Alcrate also did the Metal Star pin and uh, the Starless Sea inspired artwork on the book sleeve by Quirky Cup Collective. And Daphne Sabine? Sabine? Bane? Just inspired, designed... This Aurora Rising inspired clipboard, and then of course the book and the enamel pen, that's the Band of Weirdos for the book as well. So that's really nice. I think I liked almost every item in this box, to be honest. It was a really strong box this time, I feel. Let me know what you, what you feel about the box down below in the comments. Um, this, is, this might be the last one before my wrap up for the month. So I'm hoping to get this one, this posted by tomorrow, the 23rd, yeah, it's yeah, anyway, do you work tomorrow? huh, do you work tomorrow, yeah, I do work tomorrow, but yeah, so I guess I'll end that here, and I guess, um, send me good vibes to finish. My brother's already thinking about my next months and how I at least have two books over 800 pages, he says. Fun times. So. Technically, if I'm right about one of them, I think one's only like 799. Only. Only. I, I think he said something about the Illuminae files. But. We'll see. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Okay. It is Sunday. Got a week and a day left. Not even done with Lord of Shadows. You know. I don't even know. It's not like I don't like it. But I went home, cooked dinner, and then Nancy Drew. Maybe next time. Not so many of the same books. But I wanted to get this video uploaded today. Probably gonna go up tomorrow because it is already almost 11, if not already. So, depending on how long it takes my computer to get this clip and everything, I don't think I'll get it uploaded time but I think I have like 699 pages I'm on 621 so I'm like so close so close and I just I don't know what it is I don't know what it is but I'm gonna wrap up here and then I guess Excuse me. We will see and I'll wrap up what I end up doing for this month. My brother did tell me two of the books that'll be on the six for next month, and one is Bone Crier's Moon, 
and Nine of Owls, I think. It's a Batman. I don't really like Batman, but he thinks I like this book, so we will see. Anyway, good night, guys, and I will talk to you later.